Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. Rev on the trick of the day is the Daystate Mark IV. 177 sub 12 foot pound is launching predator polymag pellets the short variety that fit the magazines and recognize this feeder from double fac out in obviously he's not using fac today this is a legal limit rifle as we use in england still quite an impressive impact as the pellet goes through and hits the feeder Number one squirrel down on the deck. As I said in the previous double FAC out in video, a lot more squirrels come to this feeder because another feed at the top wood's gone. Rev says he sees them crossing the field to get to this one, concentrating them, making bigger bags possible. Which obviously makes the journey a lot more cost effective for the number of squirrels got for the time and diesel used. This is the first time Brev had a really really good day out here. It normally does okay. We shall see by the end this is a personal best day out for him. Here we go. shooting from his car as he often does or well, pretty much does every time to be honest when he looks at a new permission first thoughts of where can I drive my car to get a view of my feeder and then puts the feeder there obviously takes into consideration the location but having somewhere to park his car is right up there for Brev few of the places that myself and bro go to you just can't get the car anywhere near so you have to take the pop-up hides in some places we've got permanent ones built just need something to hide your movement from view you need to go out sit for about four or five hours something on that region usually about first light or thereabouts, once you've been to a place for a while, you get to know roughly what time they turn up. All you've got to do is wait for them to sit to feed and shoot him in the head. Well, I said it before in other videos, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't shoot the head if they're sat still. Especially the sub 12 foot pound. I'm not saying a body shot wouldn't work. I just think it's more likely to miss the target and not be instantaneously fatal as you want it to be. And then they can run a little bit, even though they're about to die, get down a hole, then you lost the squirrel and you'll never know if you've killed it and keep telling yourself that it's bound to die but you don't know do you? Whereas a headshot even if slightly off normally puts them on the ground you can take a second shot or get out to them without having to chase them around the woodland stick your lips in just enough that'll do got to get them to look in your direction. They need their eyes to do that. From the moment they stick their eye looking at you, you can normally see enough of the head. Another squirrel creeping at the back of the tree, just see him move there. Mm. 
looking at the corpses. This field is quite high up the tree. There's cattle in this field. If they can get their tongue into that hopper, they will eat the wheat that is being used as bait. This one's gone still on the side of the tree. Pretty good impact there. Squirrel somewhere here. There he is. It's going to be patient, that's all. certainly bump up quickly when you get them come in twos and threes. Obviously the pile of bodies on the floor doesn't only stop them that much. One of the main reasons we put the logs up to the feeders. We do like running up a good log. care for their fallen comrades. Just a belly grumbling. Pretty much rinse and repeat. Obviously it takes a bit of time to scope out good positions for feeders. Sometimes you have to move them. You know, decide on a feeder position. Maybe put a small feeder up. If you're moving it around, when you're certain on a position, you can stick a big one up. Normally quite a bit of travel to get to our feeders. We need them to stay full for quite a while. So when we do turn up, there should be plenty of squirrels coming to it. We can make the most of our time. I haven't bothered to speed up most of these clips, because they come in quite quickly. This time I think. The blood just gushes out. Polymounts do do a lot of damage. Did think they were gimmicky when I first saw them. First time I saw anyone use them was Matt Deborah's channel. He's launching an FAC rated rifle, did a lot of damage. For accurate over your preferred shooting distance, they are a good choice. Squirrel skulls are pretty thin. And pellets do tend to pass through them. I'm pretty sure that the odd shape of a polymag causes them to tumble a bit. That's just my opinion though. Sounds like the wind's got up a bit, blowing in the trees. Big pile of bodies not having any effect on the squirrels turning up. Some places it's just like that. Keep dropping them in the pile. Very so often you might get a runner come in, take a look and disappear off. And if that happens you've got to go and pick up really. Sped this bit up now. This is a squirrel on the ground. Taking his own sweet time. I could have just jumped to the shop, but 
sometimes you need to see what happens before the shot. As you might have noticed, I've had to alter the volume on a few of these clips. The rain is making quite a racket in my ear. Here we go. The shot's a little bit quieter. But still just as deadly. As you can see, it's pretty much rinse and repeat, really. Wait for them to sit on the feeder, or become still some other way, and then shoot them in the head. I'll do these days there. No, nope, he's gone for the feeder. Excellent. You knew that was coming, didn't you? It's quite an impressive stack of bodies building up there. Shooting there, bruv. A few lean kicks on the ground. Look at the link in the description, it tells you why. Little freeze frame there showing you where a squirrel just ran at the side of a tree coming in from the right. That's why bruv zooming in on the one on the feeder itself. There's also another one on the way. It's two squirrels, one on the feeder, one approaching. That one's down. And there's the other one, you can see it's got a little bit closer. Not spooked at all by the sound of the air rifle. Before you hear that one kicking on the ground. Stop to have a look. I've sped it up just to show you what he's doing. You'd think they'd run away, wouldn't you? He's come for food and he's just checking out the one on the floor, seeing under the feeder on the tree there, staring. Rev takes a shot. He doesn't even get a bite. What a violent reaction, that. Sometimes get that with a good headshot. The spinal neurons firing. That's squirrel 16 for the day. Big stack of bodies. Excellent shooting by Brev. And I said before, it's a personal best for this feeder. And there it is with the rifle. Well done, mate. Well shot. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. And share. Thank you.